So hey y'all, I'm back with another video. So tonight's video is yet again another Chama Chats video podcast edition. So by the title, we're going to be talking about Doja Cat being body shamed for her natural breast. This comes after her recent birthday party in which she posed topless for photos. In addition to that, we're going to talk about Cardi B's new body that has been very obviously enhanced as of recent and just dissecting the contrasting viewpoints of the two different phenomenons. Now, of course, this is another body image related video. If you feel like I'm being redundant, just go ahead and click off. But I wouldn't have to keep making the same videos and being so obsessed with this topic if it didn't keep trending. Body image topics are always trending. I don't think of them out of thin air. It's young people that perpetuate this nonsense and I just choose to speak on it. So take your frustrations up with our wicked society that we live in and not me. I just want to draw some conclusions that show how hypocritical society is and how mentally fried we are. So this past weekend, Doja Cat celebrated her 27th birthday. She had a lingerie slash masquerade slash burlesque themed birthday party and there was a lot of celebrities in attendance. Now, why Doja decided to have her breast out, I don't know, but it is her party and maybe she felt comfortable and free around all of those people, so I guess. Couldn't be me. However, one photo that Doja took with Dreezy, by the way, I think Dreezy's one of the most underrated female rappers out right now. That's another video, but I just had to say that. And also, I'm sorry, y'all, I really don't know the other people in the photo, but the picture pretty much went viral. So, Twitter users started commenting on the photo, commenting on Doja's breast, and it was was just crazy to see how people talk down about her body. Now, obviously, I can't post it on YouTube, so I will have the link to the Twitter post in the comment section down below. And the nuttiest part is that most of these comments were coming from men, which I don't know if that's more or less hurtful, but it does say a lot. On the other hand, over the past few weeks, or maybe just the past few months, I've been seeing Cardi B post a lot of body videos. Just videos of her walking in a sexy outfit and showing off her goods. And there has been a lot of praise for Cardi B. And Cardi B obviously looks different than she did even a year ago and it's mainly changes of her physique and her face. Her waist is really tiny these days and I mean strikingly tiny. Her hips look wider and fuller and I'm not gonna lie it's definitely giving extracted wisdom tooth and I don't say that to be shady. I say that to say it looks way too obviously unnatural and the enhancements are very pronounced and my African auntie voice is shouting. Her body is just shouting. It's just shouting. Though. So I find it crazy but also not crazy because I know what type of society we live in now that people were so quick to shame Doja's natural titties, but I keep seeing these videos of Cardi B getting reposted on blogs and people are hyping up her aesthetic. And I'm not saying that you can't praise surgical bodies if they look good. I have a lot of friends with BBLs and other enhancements and their bodies actually look good. You can barely tell that they've had work done. But when something is this blatantly offset, no pun intended, I don't see how it takes prevalence over something that is God given. Doja Cat having smaller or what people were calling saggy breasts is something that Doja Cat essentially can't control because she's natural. But that's 2022 for you. So I wanted to take a dive into the contrasting approach of these two ladies and their bodies via social media. I've broken this video down into one overall main talking point. So without further ado, let's get right into this video. So my one and overall main talking point is society's body image hypocrisy. This is the thesis of this video because it is so blatantly obvious these days and I am sick of it. I'm sick of people shaming natural bodies. I'm sick of people trying to downplay what God gave them. I'm sick of people not being content with how they are naturally built. I am sick of this. Does anybody have an IV for me? Because I'm really sick of this. Do any of y'all ever see something alarming on social media and then you think to yourself that everyone will agree that whatever that content is or whatever a celebrity is doing is weird or off-putting or too much or vulgar or disrespectful or whatever. And then you go to the comment section and you see a whole bunch of recently hatched bird brain people hyping up, promoting, and making excuses for the foolery. My mouth literally drops to the basement when I'm thinking everybody will notice that a lot of the body hype and so-called body goals are unhealthy and extreme. And it seems like I'm the only one or one of the few comments that actually sees the issue. Like, damn, man. Maybe I really am a hater. But in this case, I see that Doja Cat, who, let's be real, was very nutty for nonchalantly posing her whole breast out to the world, was getting ridiculed for her shape, size, and elasticity of her boobies. Here are some of the tweets that I was able to pull. One user says, Doja Cat's leak was so disappointing, bruh. Another user says, Doja Cat's leak mid AF. And after somebody defended her, somebody else came back and said, or maybe the leaks were just trash. And then Doja Cat even said, if anybody got any nudes of me last night, please send them because I want to post them, which to me seems like she's confident in her body. And somebody came back and said, got them pancake flat ass boobs for real. 
mid. Then another person said, she's more flat chested than a regular man. Somebody else defended that and said, LMFAO, this is what real tits look like, preteen. And then somebody else came back to that and said, my girlfriend doesn't look like that. And then somebody else, when they finally saw the photo said, wow, that was underwhelming. So the amount of people pushing a narrative that there was something wrong or ugly or undesirable, or I guess unattractive about Doja's titties was crazy to me because being real y'all, my titties look just like that. I don't really have much. I'm really a backside baby, but I just imagine other girls who have a similar shape or breast size looking at comments basically saying that their natural chest is considered bad or ugly. And not gonna lie, it kind of hurt my feelings. I don't have a low self-esteem, so I mean, I actually love my titties being the size that they are compared to my butt, but it's like, damn, I didn't even think people would go this hard. Now, there were people obviously defending this, and I wanted to highlight people who were trying to educate and trying to showcase the reality of what women look like and where society is. So one user said, said, Doja Cat's leaks were mid, signed a man that has never touched a woman in his entire life, which is probably facts because if you're a man who has the attraction or the confidence or just the pull to see real natural titties in real life and in person, you would know there's absolutely nothing wrong with her breasts. A lot of women's breasts look like this. Another user said, it's pretty shitty to see people body shaming Doja Cat for not meeting the standard of their misogynistic sexual fantasies, saying shit such as the leaks are disappointing or what's wrong with her body. She is an artist and a human being. It's her body, so shut the F up. They continued on and said, I am so sick of men and even women doing this weird shit. Stop policing people's bodies, FFS. What does that mean, y'all? Stop putting pressure on women to exist within your porno brain standards and grow the F up. Can people just exist? I agree that a lot of society is so influenced by pornography, being that it is so accessible, that people think that the enhancements that a lot of porn stars have is what is supposed to be the average on regular people. And that is so false. Lastly, somebody said, Doja Cat got them 70s titties. I love it. Naker, I am a grown man. And continued by saying, and I like most, if not all titties, but them joints made me think of drinking brandy out of a snifter and wearing an Applejack hat. Them Shaka Khan joints. I guess that's a compliment, but I do like the correlation to, I guess, the old school titties solely because I think back in the day before I was even born or thought of it was clearly a lot more appreciation for the natural physique of a woman's body so it really sickens me to see people talk about her in this way because it plasters the idea of how society changed their tune based off of the aesthetic let's not forget when Doja Cat first came out she was really thick she was really admired by a lot of men and drew attraction for how big her butt was and how big her thighs were and her having a really small waist on top of that and I guess her boobs were never a problem then when she followed this slim thick rhetoric that is always accepted by society but when she dropped down in weight now all of a sudden there's an issue with the way that she's shaped because she's allowed herself to take on a more slender look that is so backwards to me because if you're going to tell me that thick bodies are a standard of beauty then when somebody decides to naturally change themselves and they look good they should still be given the same praise and exception that's the thing this generation loves to body shame natural bodies and then that's why these girls are getting these enhancements so if we trickle over to cardi b like i said earlier i I keep seeing Cardi B shapeshift and her waist keeps getting smaller like every six months. And I know Cardi B is very honest about body enhancements. Obviously, she used to be a dancer or a stripper and she's very transparent. Cardi B basically popped out with a new body and I'm not sure when she really did this. I obviously don't follow her, but I had been noticing it over the course of maybe the last few months. So like the summertime on a lot of blogs and I couldn't help and notice how many people in the comment section as well as the blogs were praising Cardi B's new body, particularly her waist to hip ratio. And of course, First, we're in the social media aesthetic of the exaggerated hourglass that has been a constant for the past few years. I have several videos on that. But what baffles me is the fact that people are literally praising surgery that to the naked eye actually looks really crazy. And I'm just going to be upfront about it because I think people want me to sugarcoat and baby and hold the hands of certain women who decide to go under the knife because it's seen as mean or harsh or being a hater or insensitive to tell people about themselves. But no, a lot of these girls in real life look like characters and our brains are starting to send signals to our eyes to look for this surgically enhanced body site and ingest that as to what shouldn't be shamed. Women's bodies shouldn't be shamed in general. However, if it looks crazy because you went and did a whole bunch of stuff to yourself, people have the right to say that. Due to the majority of people getting surgery because of their own insecurities about their physical appearance, it's almost like if you call somebody out or make a comment on the new body, you are not empathizing with their low self-esteem, which people think is rude. But I'm here to tell you, absolutely not.
Like, no. Like, because no. Like, absolutely because no. No, I'm not gonna coddle or cuddle somebody and disingenuously tell them that their enhanced surgical body looks good if it doesn't. I'm not saying I have to say anything, but I'm not gonna tell you that it also looks good. And I'm also not saying that it's easy to just love what you see in the mirror. Most women have reservations about something about their body, but what I am saying is it's very dangerous to give people praise for contorting themselves in a way that just looks crazy. The amount of people in her comment section and even the blogs that were like, yes, Cardi, that waist is snatched. She looks so good. Y'all are haters if you can't say that her body doesn't look good. And I'm just like, are we really living in such a delusional time in which people look at that and think that it looks good? Her waist is not even snatched. Her waist is seized and captured. Like this is actually extreme that she's appearing to have less ribs and look like a wisdom tooth. But I'm supposed to think that it's normal because society has lost their minds? Yeah, get the strap like yesterday. And I'm sorry, I refuse to deep fry myself in insecurity oil because this is a very dangerous image to push. Cardi B has so much influence that of course she can do whatever she wants. She's grown. She has the money. It's her business. And it's not like she's lying about what she's ever done. It's obvious. But to consistently parade a different version of yourself every so often is very scary. And like I said in my previous video about Lil Baby talking about how BBLs are kind of going out of style, it's not just celebrities and it girls that are having this look. Broke girls have it. Rich girls have it. The average woman has it. College students are getting it. The nurse that works on the third floor of the hospital has it. The delivery driver at Amazon has it and so forth. So it's very common. And people like Cardi B and everybody else are the reason why. A lot of times people look at women with money and fame and success and status and give them passes for doing things that are so harmful and hinder the mindsets of the people they influence. But she's not going to get dragged for it because she's Cardi B. But the average girls who decide to follow this or do this are going to be the ones who get shaded, are going to be the ones that end up in your friend group chat and get sneak this, and are going to be the ones who actually receive ridicule and chastisement when your faves are the ones perpetuating this imagery. I'll just say this. If we have any doctors watching, could y'all please prescribe me something for this sickness that I'm feeling? Because I'm super sick of seeing the inconsistencies and the hypocrisy and how we value body image. I'm a hater. I'm a body shamer. I'm a down talker because I speak about how women should not be so pressured by this aesthetic. Meanwhile, look at how society treats natural bodies. Look at how society is so quick to call Doja Cat's breast saggy because they're so used to seeing implants. Look at how society is so fast to call somebody bad built just because they don't have an exaggerated waist to hip ratio. And this really is in general because I do understand that in certain industries, there are certain body standards. I used to be an athlete, so I had to keep my body up. I'm a model director. I work with young women. I tell my models that they have to be in shape. They have to have a certain body look. It doesn't have to be distinct, but it does have to be what is marketable and what is healthy. But I would never tell my girls that they have to have double D breasts, a 30 inch waist and 44 inch hips. The average woman doesn't even look like that. And we're trying to make it the average when God has told us several times that is not what he created everybody to look like. Everybody loves to talk about how all body shapes and sizes should be uplifted and we're in this era of diversity and inclusion. But people don't want diversity and inclusion the way that they say they do. They want their diversity to stop causing them mental adversity so then they can be included. But nobody wants to do the internal work. Nobody wants to get in the gym. Nobody wants to really accept themselves or make the healthy lifestyle changes to alter it. I watched an interview featuring Ari Fletcher aka The Real Kyle's sister the other day on YouTube. It was on the channel Breakbeat Media and it was a good interview. It was funny, it was entertaining, but I remember she was asked about something about body image and losing weight and she said, no, I'd rather just get surgery. Basically stating that she's not gonna go to the gym or start walking around her mansion to lose weight. She's gonna go to the doctor table. And I just feel like that message, although you can do what you want, is the reason why the general society is putting down natural bodies. I feel like most people don't care if you get your body done or the BBL or the injections or whatever. Why people are more so frustrated is that in response to that, the aftershock is that natural bodies are being shamed, natural bodies are being seen as undesired, and they are going very much underappreciated. It's almost like natural bodies are going extinct, and that is very scary. I also saw recently on Love & Hip Hop, Safari Samuel's new girlfriend. I'm gonna play the clip as I talk, and I was just confused as to one, why are they walking down the sidewalk and she's in this club outfit? It just didn't make any sense to me. And then two, why does she look like it hurts to move and that her back can snap at any moment. But literally, this is the imagery that people say is better than a natural body. And I don't think one has to be better than the other, but one shouldn't be shamed or put under the other just to kindle the feelings of the insecurities of thousands of young women. I'm really sick of the natural body shaming and I see it all the time. My local pharmacy is Walgreens, so if anybody wants to send me any medicine to rid myself of this disease, please do so. I make these videos because it's super important to maintain this topic because I don't think people are doing the internal work. They are sprinting, jumping, 
and galloping to the doctor's table in hopes that a surgeon can fix their insecurities when deep down inside, everything about you, the way how you feel about yourself, your self-esteem and your confidence can only come from within. So that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed. Please let me know your commentary on my commentary down below. What do you think? What do you know? Let me know. If you haven't already, please stream my song Ballin'. It is out on all platforms and follow me on all of my social media networks and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye y'all. They like where she find this one. I speak they like damn son. And I thought a nigga who was eating my ass from the back when I asked had said song. PUA money ran out. Now your ass on the drop. Close your mouth. Don't say no. Oh, owing me $200. These niggas be broke. It's the truth. Let me tell ya. Smoking them roaches. Doing nothing all day. Laying down on the couch. He a bad boy. If he does not make me feel like a queen. Going ghost on his ass. Danny Phantom. I'm the type to work on all got them. They get a check. Lean a tub like I'm Red Run. I am a queen. Two colors to grease. Man, women like me. We are seldom. And I thought a girl who was trying to be me, but had feminist Miss LeBlee has said some. I'm telling you, girl, just stay right in your place before I relocate you to Belgium. And money bag, yo, thought a broke nigga said some, but broke niggas can't talk, so we ain't hearing them. I know what bitch who I heard got that itch. She make niggas sick when they get a whip. When they get a sniff, I'm like, damn, pray for him. She don't have no hits in her lace from the stiff. Chama, can I hold some? Nah, I can't do that. False claiming bitches, but all I said is truth. Yeah. Never heard of you when they asked, I said, who's that? Uh. Mission in the motherland, and it will push a roof, yeah.